And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Oh, man. Yes, we are here because, hello, camp. It's time for Spirit Island. What? Tonight, I am taking over Monday night. It is not Arkham Horror with my Lyle and Matt, which you were probably expecting on Monday night. A half hour earlier than this stream, but it's a half hour later than the normal Monday night stream. And tonight, we're finally getting to play some Spirit Island. Yes. From Greater Than Games and our good buddies over at Handelabra as well. We've been excited to beat this. Uh, full disclosure, we were backers of the Indiegogo campaign of the digital iteration of Spirit Island. Um, a great cooperative strategy game that will melt my mind. Um, if you're not new to the camp, you're very aware that Lyle and I don't do a lot of these deep, complex, um, even like EU. We don't do big research management. We don't play a lot of strategy games, but are open to learning them and always looking for your advice and your tips and your help um, and recommendations on games we should try um, when it comes to this genre of game. Um, so why did we back Spirit Island in its digital form? Besides the fact that our good buddies over like uh, Mr. Christopher Bedell at Greater Than Games and Jeremy and crew over there at Handelabra Games making awesome digital implementations of awesome games uh, that you've seen here as well. Uh, besides being biased in that way, um, we were actually our first like experience with this game was just slightly, speaking of Christopher Bedell, slightly over at PAX Unplugged. I believe it wasn't last year, it was the year prior. Um, we were sitting there talking to him about what's going on with Greater Than Games, um, and we saw Spirit Island being played by folks physically on some tables, and he said, do you know what that game is? And we said, no, it looks cool, uh, looks intense, a lot of stuff was going on with things, and he said, that's Spirit Island, you know, this is a great game, um, but it's not one for someone like ourselves that have not delved into the strategic board game world, um, to take lightly. He was very honest with that. He said it would be best, and it's an awesome game, that you take it slowly and you learn, uh, in this case, spirit by spirit, and you'll get better over time. But as you get into the game, you get deeper and deeper into it, which I've noticed now with the little bit I've played. Um, now, JFF Dugan, what's going on, is dropping lots of knowledge in the chat um, about back lore. This game is very thematic, very complex strategy game, um, but the theme is amazing, as we'll be playing as spirits, protecting our island um, from the incoming EU, the European uh, coloniz colonizers, the invaders, they call them in this game. Um, we will be aided by the uh, Dahan, I believe I'm saying that correctly, which are the natives of the land, who we've kind of made a deal with over time um, to sort of work together and protect this land that's been there forever from the invaders, uh, colonizing, building cities, taking over the land, spreading blight across and destroying destroying it that's it in short um how we're going to approach this complex game as it's um if you see any reviews of this game or anything like that it's it's not recommended for the casual gamer per se um but i figure this might help you as i am pretty casual and i am the not the next level matt if you know matt since a size level gamer here matt's that guy right and then you've got like lyle and i down here um trying to keep up with that guy who you guys are you guys are <laughs> here so um i hope this playthrough uh will aid you from a point of view of a beginner of this game um because like me maybe you've heard of it maybe you too were influenced by Christopher Bedell to back this game because he said it was awesome and you saw it digitally being made by Handelabra. So you went for it, you backed it, and maybe you've been tentative to jump into it or maybe you got a copy of the game, your friends got it. I say be not afraid as the tutorial in this digital game is great. Um, as JFF Dugan in chat will say to you, um, he even recommended it on Twitter and I had played through the tutorial. Very helpful. Um, the rules in this very helpful, uh, in the digital version as well as the physical version. Um, I will admit that I spent about 45 minutes. I'm a slow reader, uh, reading through the rule book to get all the elements sort of just in my brain in the subconscious so that when I ran through the tutorial, I was able to follow it even better. You know what I mean? Like really kind of take it in. Didn't make me great at the game. Um, I will admit my only win is a tutorial win. Um, I've lost from here on out. <laughs> and today we will play with one of the easier spirits. Um, and I will dis I will not be playing the tutorial on air, though. I will not be playing the tutorial. I'll leave that to you to discover um, and try to answer questions along with fans of the game um, as we move through each element, each phase, and all that good stuff. And welcome to Best Camp on Twitch, JPost000. It's good to have you. 
And yes, Matt and Lyle have combined into mittens as I've taken it over to melt our brains late at night. Because what better way to get ready for bed than to digest a really complex strategy game right before you go to sleep? <laughs> I've, I have noticed that um, with games like this, even though we don't play them a lot, that once Lyle and I dip our toes in uh, with you guys, we go to bed or we get off air and I start texting Lyle or Matt. We get into a text thing and I, I go, man, I want to play again. Man, I got to do this. I mean, earlier today, I was just messing around and I found myself an hour and a half later trying to survive um, just to like just playing a game because I was like, you know, I want to take a little bit deeper look before I get slaughtered on air. You know what I mean? Don't look too bad on air like I normally make myself do but um yeah so uh, uh, without further ado there is a bonus surprise what what could that be well guys good buddies over at Handle Lobber were very generous in their support and would love to see you guys also enjoy Spirit Island Digital and to celebrate its release since we're a little bit late because the wor like world and life got crazy the last few months and we didn't get to this sooner than we wanted um they've offered up a key for steam what Whoa! <laughs> Yes, courtesy of Handle Lobber Games. Tonight, if you're in Twitch chat, I decided to throw up a bonus uh, key giveaway um, provided by Handle Lobber Games. Um, right now, this game's available on Steam, and if you're in the Twitch chat right now and you're a follower or sub, subs will get two times luck. You can enter exclamation point giveaway in chat to get the details, but exclamation point ticket will buy you a ticket in to get this. It's 10 crits. Crits are earned by watching, um, hanging out with us as we learn the game, uh, following, subbing to the channel, donating to the channel, uh, and the like. And as I do some momentous stuff, maybe I'll give out bonus crits um, here. But it's our way of saying thank you for your support. We're giving out a copy of this game, the digital version, courtesy Handle Auburn Games. So stick around. If you don't own a copy, now's your chance to win one tonight. Um, as long as I don't scare you away from it or make it look like it's really hard. <laughs> just, just understand, again, I am very base level, and this is a beginner's point of view, on this game and just be just be aware that this game um is uh remote play available it says on the steam page you can remote play together sort of the way that lyle and i do like one deck dungeon and the like um you can play remotely and kind of discuss with each other there's different uh overlays you can put on the game like numbering different sections of the map um so that your buddy or something can play via skype and then you guys can uh, hang out and talk about it or via discord um and that kind of thing uh uh, so that's a lot of fun. So you want to be sure you get this game. You want to be sure you check it out. Um, and if you, for some reason, don't get it, it's $24.99 right now on Steam. You can go buy it right now uh, and play it yourself. Um, but I will also notice, I will also mention that there is another Handle Lobber title right now that we've probably seen us play many times in the past. One Deck Dungeon from a buddy as Mahdi Games and Handle Lobber as well. It's a dollar. It's a dollar right now mobily. What? So if you're just looking for a quick pickup for your mobile games, Go pick up one deck dungeon as well. That is the big intro. <laughs> so if you haven't, if you can't tell yet, I'm a little intimidated to jump into this. Um, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take a breath, and we're going to relax, and we're going to fire up some of the music here, the soundtrack here. Ah, Jean Marc, another great fellow handelaber. Uh, composer doing lots of great tunes um, for everything over there even sentinels and stuff like that I believe did a bunch of stuff and one deck dungeon all kinds of good music John mark good stuff good job guys I'm really digging it um, we're gonna spin the wheel here for Bill Bill sub to the camp uh, one of our awesome subs so to just celebrate that and start off on a positive note, let's spin the wheel for Bill for 15 months of support and then we're gonna jump into this game guys what do you say so maybe this will win you some crits for that giveaway. And then on we go as we learn about Spirit Island and play a complex strategy game that I am not prepared for. <laughs> I am prepared, but I'm scared. Oh, a bean for me. What better way to start Spirit Island than with an awful tasting bean in my face. And for Bill, my buddy on Pokemon, I will not eat the easy toothpaste bean. No, I will eat the peach or barf bean. Because, again, what better way to be a spirit on an island trying to save you, uh, save the Dahan is this. And that's right, Dugan. It is a handle brat. I don't know if I'm an official handle brat yet. Maybe, maybe Jeremy or someone will pop into chat and confirm my brat handle, my handle brat in this. <laughs> I don't know if we've qualified yet. We've tried. We're, we're poser handle brats. 
We, I don't know if we're at the level yet, but we love that guy. They're good, good, good folks. The whole team. All right, here we go. Oh. Um. It's Peach. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for that support. What's up, Mr. Uncle Awesome? Good to see you. All right, thanks for the support, guys. All right. So, let's get into Spirit Island. Again, briefly. Spirit Island is a complex strategy game. We're going to deal with hand management, area control. We're going to have various spirits we're playing as, protecting the Dahan, trying to protect our land. The win condition can change. There's various defeat conditions. And the game gets easier as we scare away the invaders that we're trying to defend the land from. The best way I can say is pick up the game, play the tutorial. As I play through this, I will describe some things. I am not going to go through every single detail. I'm kind of just going to describe them as we go. Because as a... When I looked at this game, if I was a player, it, it'd almost be awesome to learn this if I didn't have a tutorial from someone playing it. All right? So... Here we go. Let's jump into the game. I have nothing else to say. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's get into this thing as we into Spirit Island from Handelabra and Greater Than Games. Beautiful. Amazing. Looks good. Let's get into this thing. New game. Now our story begins with an island long before humans ever knew it. The island was there. It was... Because we're beginner. Now, I will state that as we set up this game... Blaster Kubi says, make the invaders quit before you disappear. <laughs> you get their depends on the case. Exactly, dude. Just scare them away. <laughs> um, our story begins on this island. So this is very thematic. And what is great about Spirit Island is that you can make it as easy or easy or difficult as you want. Now, let's say you're awesome. You're Matt. You're Sensei says you're next level gamer. The way I'm going to play is probably super easy. But you can add in scenarios, you can add in almost like boss characters um, that change the win conditions, that give different outcomes, that do that kind of thing. The game can evolve into something huge as you become a better player. So this game has a huge, it has a, a big learning curve, as well as a huge future in your investment, both digitally and physically. Um, Twitson says, when I demo it, I tend to let players just do things and answer questions as they come up. That's exactly how I think this is going to go. So... Our island will be very small. We will start with one board and spirit. When the invaders came, only one spirit was able to fight. They were straightforward in their ways. Low complexity. Now you could, again, here's another thing. You can make it more and more complex. Basically not easy to understand, often inscrutable. You can up your complexity. We're going to go low complexity. And as you can see here, you can then customize more. Um... Don't let this overwhelm you as a new player. Uh, you'll have eight spirits you can choose from, I believe, in this digital game. Um, I will be starting with a tutorial spirit called River Surges in Sunlight. Um, I just feel like uh, I've kind of grasped onto them. They probably recommended it as one of the easier characters to play as. Some take more. I experimented briefly with Lightning Swift Strike uh, and could see what it wants me to do. Uh, and even saw the combinations that like River Surges and Sunlight has with uh, Lightning Swift Strike. As this is a one to four player co-op game, all these spirits intertwine and you find awesome combinations to make each one even more powerful as you try to defeat the Dahan. So here we go. You pick a map. I'm going to start with this base tile board, which is like the beginner one. And I'm going to drive drag down River Surges in the sunlight. Lots more things you can do here. Uh, you can click on the things. You can do all the stuff. You can increase your difficulty rating. I am not going to play with a scenario. Um, I'm not playing with a blight card. I can make it even easier if I wanted to <laughs> from how easy I'm already going to do it. Um, yes, the Dahan of the good guys. Did I see the Dahan with the bad guys? The Dahan of the good guys. The invaders of the bad guys. Sorry if I was if I, I got confused. Um, all right. So here we go. Let's get into the game. Straightforward game. We've picked our tile, which is made up of our various spots, and we'll go. I'll explain it as we get in there. Now, the game works in various phases. First, we'll start with the invaders exploring in the mountains. So at the beginning of a game, the invaders get a chance to place what is known as a city or a town, and they will invade, explore, into a certain region of your map. Now, before we talk about the spirit phase, basically what just happened was 
the beginning of the game, the setup, explore phase. On the far side of the board here, like I said, I'm not going to go into the deep tutorial. You can get this in the tutorial. But just so you know what you're looking at, if you're not familiar, you've got the ocean on the far left of your tile here. This is not a region you get to do anything with, but it makes these three regions here coastal regions, okay? When you're playing cards that reference coastal, this is considered the coast. All this stuff is considered inland, okay? This ocean out here is graphical. It's not a real ocean. I mean, it is an ocean, but it's not coastal. It's not coastal. This is a coastal coastal regions. Um, what just happened is the, the invaders came in. They got a chance to build and explore. They've headed into the mountains, these two regions here, and uh, that's what's going on. Now, because I'm the river surges in sunlight as my spirit, you see my spirit board here, I'm going to be starting with my presence in the wetlands. There's the wetlands here, and there's a wetlands right here. Um, two different boards. Two different sections. Yes, Mr. Draco, there are steep cliffs. Do not go play on those beaches. Good call. <laughs> yes, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure what I'm saying, I'm just very general. Like, I'm gonna... Uh, right, Dugan's correcting me that actually, if the ocean's hungry grasp is in play, it is in play. There's things in this game that are beyond me. So I guess I'm, again, taking it from a very beginner, very basic point of view, as in I've barely played the game and my understanding of it. Um, so I, if, if I'm completely wrong, please correct me. <laughs> um, I'll be starting in the wetlands here. This is my presence. This means I'll be able to play things from start. This is kind of like my starting point where I'm going to be spreading my presence on the island, um, which, are, which are like my little presence discs, these little things here um, from this point. I also get bonuses for being in the wetlands because I'm water. I'm the river dude, okay? I'm the river guy. So what I'm getting at here on the map is we have two mountains. The gray are the mountains. The blue are the wetlands. The green are, what is it? The grass? The the grasslands? What are the greens? The greens are fields? Marsh? I want to say it starts with an S. Um, and then you got sands. The sands are the sandy parts. Oh, jungle. Jungle. Sorry. The green is the jungle. Sorry. I got out of the way. Green is the jungle. So you got two of each on my little map here. Wetlands, sands, mountains, and jungle. And these are going to be referenced down here a lot in this in this little track board. But right now, we're in the spirits phase. Um, at the beginning of your spirits phase, you get to grow as your spirit. And that's what you're seeing in the top right up here. I get three choices. I can reclaim cards, and they're in these little sections. I can reclaim cards, which I'm not going to do now because I have nothing in my discard pile. Um, power cards as references. I can... What up? Welcome to the best camp of George H. Denton. Good to have you. Um, I can gain a power card and gain one energy as my growth option this turn. My next option is I can add a presence twice from my presence track right here, which if I add presence, basically what's going to happen is if every time I remove one of these little discs and place it on the board to spread out my sort of like presence on the board, I'm going to increase the amount of energy I get per turn or the amount of cards I can play per turn. This growth choice lets me place two of those discs, and I can choose a track. Um, and my third option in my growth phase uh, is I can gain a power card and add a presence. And then these little distances with these little arrows are how far from a previous presence I can do that. So this one will let me do it two away from one if I wanted to. Um, so here we go. Let's get into this thing. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here and get rid of that. All right. So at the beginning here, I basically need to create presence on this board as I spread across because I'm going to need my presence to attack things and take over this land and do that whole thing. Um, but what am I working towards? What am I working towards, you might ask? My victory condition currently, currently is to destroy everything, to get rid of everything on this, on this island. The invaders, the explorers, which are this dude with the flag, the towns, and the cities. This is what I'm trying to do, okay? I'm trying to keep this island under control and get rid of these, these dudes. Um, I'll explain the terror level uh, in a, a real quick. Terror level is your win condition based on the amount of fear you instill in your invaders. Stay with me here. <laughs> your win condition gets easier as you instill more fear into the invaders to raise the terror level. 
the higher the terror level, the easier it is to win because the the thing you need to do becomes simpler. As in, victory, the terror level one is really hard. You got to get rid of all these things to win, right? Kill every last one of them, says Blaster, right? If you get it to terror level two, you just have to get rid of the towns and the, and the cities. And if you get it to terror level three, it's like get rid of all cities. And then the fourth one, I believe, is just win. If you get rid of everything and you've, you've scared them off, they're gone, okay? That is how we're going to win this game. And we're going to do it right now with next level plays. <laughs> okay? So in this phase, let's grow our spirit by adding some presents. Um, my presence track comes up, and I can choose a disc from either one I want. Now, this is where you have to think strategically a little bit. I'm not great at that right now. So right now, I gain one energy. If you see at the top of the screen, I gain one energy per turn base level dude, right? Because that's what this is. Um, I need to gain more energy than that. And why do I need energy? I need energy to play power cards. What? Power cards? Ah! Stop talking, Chris! Just play the game! No. This is why we need to think about this. Power, power, or energy, is used to play these power cards. There are two types of power cards. There's fast and slow. Fast will happen before the invaders get a chance to ravage, build, do what they do on their turn. And slow happens after the invaders do their stuff. And then you play a slow turn. As in push them around and do stuff like that in this ability. Top left corner is the energy cost. And down the side, you're going to see some elements that combo into other abilities. Which I'll explain later, which are your innate powers. <laughs> ah, so many things! Don't lose your mind yet. I have already lost mine. This game is going to melt my brain. Um... So, oh my gosh, never noticed the little river surges on the card art? Did I not notice it either? Dude, you're right. Look at those little guys. So cute. I agree, H. Denton. And don't forget to enter the giveaway, guys. There is a giveaway open for everyone just showing up. I know we said we we're going to start at 9. It started a little early so we could get into the game because there's a lot to talk about. And I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind right now. All right, back to what energy's for. The more energy we have, the bigger the cards we can play. Good cards in Think Tank. Thank Mr. Drago. More powerful cards cost more energy. Boom! Mechanics. Right? That makes sense. But you also have a limit on how many cards you can play per turn. Right now, I can only play one card per turn. Even if I had seven energy, I can only play one card per turn. If I have two energy and I have this many cards, I can still only play one card per turn. Ah! You have to find a balance and a strategy based on what your spirit does to then get to the win condition. Right? Um, okay. Cool? So we need energy and we need card play. Uh, cause I'm gonna wanna play multiple ones of these, both fast and slow, for various reasons. Like doing damage to the invaders. Right? Um, like gathering these little symbols represent dahan which are these little wood dudes on the board these are my good little guys these are my little fighters these are the guys i'm working with to keep these cool little miniature guys off the game i did just get the game <laughs> so here we go so energy so where do we want to go is the question here right um some cards have specific lands that you have to uh play them on and that kind of thing um, so I need to sort of spread down here and be able to access everything. Now, a power that my specific spirit has, River Surges and Sunlight is my name, R-S-I-S, the Rissus, uh, is that if I place presence in the wetlands, it becomes a, uh, what do you call it? A, a, uh, sacred land, right? I'm not talking Mystic Veil too much here, right? Um, uh, it comes a sacred land. A sacred land is where you can play your innate powers from, okay? And that's what this is. I only need one disc there to be a sacred land. So that's my little ability. Um, I've got dudes over here. We've got, we've got invaders up in here in our wetlands um, and that kind of thing. So let's spread our energy somewhere else, huh? Let's try to do... Uh, I'd say we go here. 
I kind of want to get down into this jungle here, right? I kind of want to go one here. And then I'm going to play... I want to play more than one card per turn. So I'm going to go down here into the jungle. Okay. So I've, I've done my growth step. <laughs> Next is our card playing step. Where now, as you can see, because I've built my presence, I now gain two energy per turn and can play two cards per turn. I now get to play power cards. This is the power card phase. Uh, my goal... Get rid of everybody on my island. Um, what guys I should attack and that kind of thing is kind of based on the invader track at the very bottom down here. Um, this tells you what the invaders are going to do next. Presence is a reference spot or several. Correct. 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 Mr. Draco spun the wheel for 10k crits. We'll get to that in a sec, Mr. Draco. I just want to get through... One turn here. I'll make a note here. Draco. Look at that old school writing with a pen. Uh, so I've got two energy here, and I can play two cards per turn. So what do I have available? I can play Wash Away, which pushes... Uh, this is a slow, so this will happen after they do their turn. I can then push their invaders around, push a city around, up to three of them. That's pretty good. Flash Floods is almost like an instant that I can blast them down. I can do a damage. If the target land is coastal, it does plus one damage. Hmm. That's pretty nice. And this here says gather to Dahan. This allows me to move my Dahan around, meaning pull them to an area. Hmm. If there are at least two there, add at least two. Okay. So I kind of uh, messed up. One thing that I'm able to do with my ability is create more Dahan. That's one of my cool abilities here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do River's Bounty to get dudes. I wish I'd played... There is an undo button. So I'm actually going to undo this play. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to place it in the mountains. And this is because I want to prepare myself to fight them off. And I'll explain that kind of as I go along, right? Oh, push towns, not cities. Thanks, Dugan. Yes, that card says push towns, not cities. Um, I'm then going to do... So that's going to happen after they do all their moves. I'm then also going to play maybe Flash Floods? So, hey Chris, why are you playing the cards you're playing? Well, a big part of this game is looking ahead on what the invaders are going to do on their turn, which is going to happen right after the fast card phase, which is going to happen just in a second here. If you look at the very bottom of the screen, you've got Ravage Build Explore. Now, what they're going to do... Is they're gonna this is this is the invader track and how they're gonna do their things. What it's telling me is that any invaders that are in the in the mountains, this M, anything that's here, if they have an explorer here, they're going to build there. Whether they have a town, a city, or an invader there, they will build. We don't know what's gonna get ravaged yet because we're not at that step yet. Um, but this M after next turn, we'll move to the Ravage step. So first they'll build in the mountains, and then they're going to Ravage the mountains. That means they're going to do damage uh, per their unit. So each Explorer does uh, one damage. Uh, yes, each Explorer does one damage. Each town does two damage. And each city, this big, this big building over here, does three damage. So one damage, three damage, and these little towns up here does two damage. Anytime something takes, anytime the land takes two damage, he gets a blight token, which is bad, which is our healthy meter down here. If this ever runs out, um, we lose. <laughs> so that's another counter in this game. So we need to manage that as well. Um, but we need to fight. Now, my Dahan can take two damage before they die. And uh, that's about it. And my Dahan also deal two damage, I believe. So there you go. <laughs> And that's not even everything. I'm just sort of talking about what I'm going through. So the reason I'm choosing the cards I'm choosing is looking ahead to see what the invaders are going to do to work towards our current victory condition, which is kill everything. Um, I still have two energy to play here. So I kind of want to play Flash Floods to sort of do damage on something, but I, I, I don't think I need to. I think what I'm going to do is I kind of want to push stuff around, right? I'm going to do this. I'm going to try this strategy. Now, you see there, these are the cards I'm going to play. You see this little thing popped up here. What's that, Chris? Huh, let me tell you. Every card has elements down the side. There are eight elements. Let's just call them 
by their color. Yellow, blue, red on this one, for instance. This one provides you with a blue and a gray, which I guess is mountain and water. Um, to trigger an innate power ability on your turn, you collect those elements, which you see under your cards here. They stay for the whole turn and then go away after the turn. And you can use them as many times as you want if you want. You can't use the power as many times as you want. But because I have at least one yellow and two blue, it's also stated here, it triggers this level of my innate power. What? No. So that is what massive flooding is right here. It's basically saying I can push one uh, explorer or town away, which is pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to give my... I'm, I'm not looking for next level strat per se here on my plays, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to finish playing these cards and show you guys what happens next. All right, fast cards can be played now. I didn't play any fast power cards, so it skips. Now we're in the invaders page. The invaders are going to build in the mountains, like I said. Boom. He builds a town. He builds a town. Now the invaders explore, and it'll flip the explore card here because we don't know what it is. So it's going to tell us where they're going to explore to. Invaders will explore either from the ocean on the coastal regions if they can get to that sands, for instance, or from any city or town that's near that type. In this case, it was sands that was drawn. <laughs> I know this is crazy. So what happened is one guy invaded from the ocean here because the sands are touching it, and one guy invaded these sands because there was a town here. He could have also come from here if this didn't exist, but he was able to move in here. And that's their turn. So now we do slow attack. Okay, I have three slow attacks I get to play through now. I have a gather with River's Bounty, meaning I can move two of my Dahan, which will fight if ravaged, if attacked, right? Um, I can move two to an area, and if there's at least two there, I will gain a Dahan and an energy, which will carry over to my next turn. But I have to move them around. We know that the invaders are going to attack in the mountains next turn. So do I want to build up my dudes or push them around? So this is a big attack over here. Like I said earlier, this city is going to do three damage plus two damage for this town plus one. So this is six damage that's about to happen here. Not good. I think I need to push some stuff around. That's a push. This is a push a town or an invader. Hmm. So I could let him just build in the sands, right? Hmm. I think I'm going to do this gather ability, and this is probably such a bad play right now. So I've got to I've got to pick where I want to place this. Do I want to go here? I have to go somewhere I have a presence, so I guess it's here. Here's some next level plays happening here. I'm gonna do this. Which will now give me six to their six. So they'll all die. <laughs> but I can push them around and relieve some of this pressure, right? So I'm going to uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to push this guy. I'm going to push with this card. I'm going to play Wash Away to push this town to the jungle. I don't know. We'll find out what happens. Yes, Sir James. Spirit Island Digital. Played by me. <laughs> so I could actually push two of them here. Yes, I'm going to push them around into the space, in the jungle. Because right now in this track for the invaders, they're not doing anything in the jungle yet. And now I have a little bit more power over this city. Um, I still have my massive flooding. And I could push this city somewhere else to then sort of try to take over. What do we say? They're going to build here and here, right? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll push this down. Because if it also, if, if they attack your land, they will destroy your presence. Any presence you lose, like when you play these discs out, any you lose, you do not get back. 
So I'm actually going to push this guy here. Right? I don't know. Jeff Dugan says I should have just let the coastal mountain go. I can't do anything to stop it. I think I did stop it. I think. We'll see. Okay. That's it. Now we're back to the growth phase. We're right back to where we started. Still getting blighted. Yeah. Is it still? Well, three. He'll do three damage. I don't know. But, okay, so we're back at the beginning here. Um, if I destroy any cities or anything, they also causes fear. Now, fear, like I said, fear gets you fear cards. The more fear cards you earn, the higher, the closer you get to this terror level card. The higher the terror level, the easier it is to win. All right? Yes, two or more damage to the land causes blight. I'm still going to lose presence here to the city? Uh-oh. That's no good. We must stop that, then. I say I take a risk. What do I want to do, then? I think at this point... I'm going to gain a power card and add a presence. It damages the Dahan and the land at the same time, but it counts as separate damage. Right. So, I'll still destroy the city... But I'm going to lose this presence. We're talking about this mountain region right here. Dang. I see what you're saying. These are the decisions of... Dang. <laughs> These are the decisions you have to make in Spirit Island. And things you have to learn when you're better than me. Um, I'm going to go for this gain power card and add a presence. Um, although I feel like I should add more presents rather than my cards and stuff and then I'll just blast down something I mean I'm really only getting a bonus from this yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna do this I'm gonna gain a power card I'll go hard I'm going hard so I'm, I gained uncanny melting from my power deck which lets me so if invaders are present this means fear this adds one to the fear track so if I play this on a space that has invaders it'll gain a fear which moves us closer. Tower, terror track, which gets us closer. If the target land is sand or wetlands, I can remove a blight. This blight has to be on the tile I played it on, right? That's right. First plays in learning. Exactly. Thanks, thanks, not yet again. Yeah, sand and wetlands. Oh, it has to be done? That city would kill one... Dahan, then the two Dahan will kill the city. Two damage each. Yes. That was my goal, but I, I totally forgot that they attack the Dahan and the city at the same time. So do we want more energy, or do we need more cards to play? I just want to keep getting energy, man. I want to keep getting energy. This I can play one away from a has to be one away from a um, sacred spot. Which this is. So if I make this a sacred... If I, if I take this and I make this sacred, now I won't lose complete presence there, right? I mean, I'm going to lose a presence. <laughs> um... This doesn't help me right now. This card, this card's, as you guys can see, this is a card that you get to play on another spirit if you want in the cooperative. This game's a cooperative game. If you target another spirit, they gain an injury per power card they played this turn. That's pretty cool. Yeah, only the land it targets can you remove the blight from the sands and wetlands. Whoa! I'm not sure I want to play that yet. Okay, but we want to gain fear. And there's no invaders in, except here in our Sands of Wetlands. So I could do that to gain some fear. Use this to just blast it down. They're going to attack in the mountains next. And build in the sands. So I almost just want 
blast this guy in the sands and just play this somewhere else and go for my bonus, right? So if I play all these... Oh, I can only play two cards, but I still got my bonus. I still got my bonus. Okay. I still got the uh, innate ability. I got the base innate ability here, right? Yeah, JFF is, is like holding it down, man, and correcting every single thing I'm saying. <laughs> Some powers are not exactly suitable for solo. Yeah, I have seen that for sure. Okay. 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 So this is really, we just played this basically for whatever. Um, I can't remove this blight. Uh, let's see. So I'm thinking of removing this dude in the sand so he doesn't build here. This guy will build in the sands. So, okay, we're done. We're done. We're done here. We're done here. Okay, fast card mode. Fast card mode. Fast card time. Fast card mode. Okay, we need to get rid of this dude in the sands. This dude, you're done. Get wrecked. I didn't get the bonus. Didn't need the bonus. All right, so they're going to ravage in the mountains. Let's go. Here's the fight we were talking about. Let's learn. Ow. But it's going to die, which causes one fear. Oh, two fear because it's a city. What? Okay, that's no good. They did three damage here, so I got wrecked. I got mad blight happening right now. Okay, invader, they're going to explore the wetlands. Alright, the wetlands are my home. And they're going to come from here or here. Okay, they're going to go for... Okay. So next they're going to ravage the sands. I need to get my cards back, though. So, hmm, I can't remove any blight. So I can really just gain fear, huh? Play this on a sands and just gain fear. So I'm not really getting value here. Doesn't really matter where I play it. I'm just doing it for the fear. Whatever. Do it for the fear. Ooh, scary. Spoopy. Okay. So they're going to ravage the sands. I can move a dude or a city, or a town, I mean, somewhere else. So they're going to ravage, they're going to attack the sands next turn, right here, because they've got dudes. But they're going to build in my wetlands. I'm going to get my cards back next turn, because I'm going to do the reclaim action. Titan says, after Wetlands, it's probably going to be a jungle explorer. Maybe. See, we don't know, though. And yeah, over time, this will become a problem. Agreed. I figure if I can outrun... So right up here, I've got these dudes that aren't doing anything. I need to start getting them out of here. I can move these dudes down if I get when I get my card back. I'll be able to make more dudes in the sands here. So I'm thinking... If I move these two dudes down here, we'll have four dudes. So if I move... If I move this dude out of the jungle, if I move this town out of this jungle to here, that'll present five. I'll have six or whatever. I'll be able to take them on, right? Like what? I need to get these guys out of here, man. Like, these guys gonna need to go down here, almost. Uh, I want guys to fight, man. So, I'm going to push. Nah, you know what? I'm just going to push. I'm going to push this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to push it here. This may sound crazy. Months and years go by, as they always have. The spirits grow in power. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, so now that I'm out of cards, my growth choice is going to have to be reclaim the cards I played, get a new power card, and gain an energy. YOLO. Oh, we got Nietzsche's Resilience. Defend six. So now I can play I can play six armor on a, on a hard spot, like right here. And even though you have a place defended with armor... During the Ravage step, which is going to be in the Sands, the Dehan will still attack back, right? <laughs> a 
Good call, Blaster. <laughs> Rebel scum. Okay. So we have four energy, and we can play two cards. This will allow us to fend against the Sands Ravaging. My Dahan will be able to remove a city, which is good. But what I'm going to do... Oh, this is a slow play. Ugh. So this will happen after their turn. I was hoping I could move dudes in before their turn. I could flash floods. I could flash floods, remove one of those cities because it's coastal. But then I'm going to lose it to Han, aren't I? Ah, oh, that sucks, man. I only can play two cards. It needs to have one range of a sacred site for that defend. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. He's referring this. The range on this defend has to be within one of one of these. Oh, oh this level's... Oh. That's right. I can't defend these sands because I'm without... I'm not within one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're both right. Dugan was right, too. Uh. Okay. Okay. New plan. New plan. Take the plan. Make the plan. Let the plan go off the rails. Throw out the plan. Usually two-handed. Yeah. Because for the combos? Yeah. This is more like... So what I've found playing this game solo, in the little I've done it, is that it's all about... Yeah, you're thinking of head. It almost feels like chess in that sense that you're... You're thinking of everything that's going to be happening, what's coming up, but you're put in so many situations where it's just like puzzles, right? It's a lot of like, I need to be sure I create a sacred site here because I, I could get nature's resilience, which would then allow me to target it one away so I could take this on. You can't just do what I'm doing and think, oh, there's two cities here or two towns here. So that's four plus one is five damage. If I can defend that with my dude, I can at least take out one town, which gives me one fear, which be <laughs> I mean... It's like you start doing that, but then you realize what everyone else is saying too. But this is this is where the the learning curve and where the skill gap happens is people that play this a lot, especially, and this is what Bedell himself told us, was you play a spirit, you get really good with that spirit, and then you also get to learn other spirits and you learn how to combo off them and what may come up in your power deck, right? And that's the beauty of this game as a complex deep strategy game for people that love that kind of game and makes this game worth the, the price if you want to buy it physically or digitally, right? You're going to get, you can get a lot of play time out of this if you're that kind of player. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go back to hurting my brain. Also, you can win a copy of this <laughs> if you want to, if you want your brain to melt too. Enter to win right now! Exclamation point ticket. Good luck to everybody. And thank you to Handle Abra for providing a Steam key tonight. So there you guys go. Enter to win. Enter to win. Good luck, everybody. Back to this. Okay. So what's what what should I I need to kill everything. Um I kind of want to flash floods to take out one of these towns. Um if I do that, it will trigger fear, which means I will get a fear card. Uh, when you draw a fear card, something cool happens from the fear deck. Like, I may get a chance to move guys away. I may get a chance to destroy some guys in a certain... Uh, let's call them biomes. Um, not biomes. Um, but yeah, anyone's able to enter the giveaway. It's uh, followers and subs. Just be sure you're following the channel um, if you haven't yet. Um, and uh, good luck, everybody. Sounds like first ticket's free, by the way. First ticket's free. Um, just be sure you hit that follow button, though. And subs get two times luck. I think I'm going to play Flash Floods. I'm going to play Flash Floods, and I want to take out these. We're not going to win that war. But at least I'll be able to take out one of those. And then I'm going to do some River's Bounty. We need to make more dudes, right? We need to make more dudes, and this gives us our innate ability as well. Okay. Fast play. Flash floods. We're getting the fear. We're going to live in the fear. Fear mode happening right now. Blam! 
terrains. Thank you. <laughs> the trains. Terrains. Terrain trains. The train train biomes. Invader phase. Okay, here we go. We get to flip our first fear card, guys. Fear card. Defend three in all coastal lands because our fear level, terror level is one. Boom, we just got three. Defend. Protected. Easiest game we ever played. All right, bonus all 10 crits because we just got that fear card. <laughs> all part of the plan. It's calculated. So now, because they ravaged in the sands, my Dahan goes, ha ha, I now get to do two damage. Take that city, fear. The invaders build in the wetlands. Okay, they're in their build phase. They're gonna build houses in my wetlands. Boo. Boo. Okay, the invaders are gonna explore. Where are they gonna explore? Drum roll, please. There we go. They're gonna explore in the wetlands. Oh, crap. Okay. Wetlands are getting messy, guys. We need some bigger power cards to do some AOE damage. So as you can see down in the track, guys, we're going to have a Ravage two turns in a row, um, which is going to be pretty savage. So I think we need to move our Dahan to the north. I want to move them both places. And this this uh, Defend ability is going to go away after this round here. So we can move out of the mountains. I'm moving out of the mountains, man. I think it's time we move out of the mountains. And we're going to have to move some dudes out of out of our uh, wetlands, right? So which one do we... They're the same. They're, they're equi. These guys are just so not helping me over here in the jungle. Um... Let's go River's Bounty. I'm thinking I'm going to go River's Bounty right here. Dugan says, I would pick the inland one. Why? Curious. I mean, I, I, I was, I mean, it's like, for me, I'm thinking I want to go here. So that I can maybe return to this mountain because it's coastal and we haven't drawn that coastal region card yet. But if we go here, this allows me to pull these guys in, um, create three guys. You can handle the coast better with your power to do two damage later on. Oh, yeah, yeah, the power, the flash floods power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Escalation won't help either. <laughs> See, everybody in chat, you guys are like, you've got, I've got some of you on this shoulder and some of you on this shoulder all providing very good reasoning. First, flash floods will do a better job of clearing up the coast. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's two votes on that one. Okay, I'll take, I'm gonna take your advice, guys. And I'm tired of these guys kind of not doing anything over here. Right, you don't anticipate, you can't anticipate. So, boop, because we had two dudes there, that card allowed me to create a Dahan. All right, we can push one thing away now. So we're at six power, or six damage to their four damage here, when they ravage. Um... We can defend six here next turn with nature's resilience when they when they try to ravage this. And we can actually push some dudes away. We could almost push these into the sands, or maybe I push this into the mountains, is what I'm thinking. Get them out of my my jungle. Because the jungle's gonna come soon, right? We haven't had a jungle in a while. I'm thinking of pushing out the jungle here. Yeah, we got a brawl coming soon, boys. All right, I'm going to push this out of here for future problems. I probably just created way more problems for myself. The months and years go by as they always do. The spirits in the island grow in power. Okay, growth phase. Do we want presence? Do we want power? I'm a bad mother who won't take nothing from nobody. Say it again. I got presence. I've got power. I'm a bad spirit who won't take nothing from nobody. Push the town out of the inlet. Oh, too late. 
Okay. So, we want to add presents. Okay, I need to get more, I need to get more uh, card play going here. So, I'm thinking I'm going to gain power. I need more power. All right, I'm getting power. I'm getting power in a presence. I just want more power. Maybe I'm too aggressive. This just doesn't seem beneficial. What did we gain? If the target land has your presence, one fear and one damage. If land is sands and wa uh, wetlands, you get to do another damage. So that's good. This is more sands and wetland stuff. So I can control the sands and wetlands. That's my thing. I think I'm going to put this here now. I'm going to reestablish my presence here. Because of that uh, that one card, that or my innate power, right? Or this one as well, Uncanny Melting. Okay. So we've got five power. Power. I could rewind. Yeah, bad things are going to happen this turn. All right, so we have our defense six that can protect us here. We can fight it up, up here. Um, and I can have, I can later use uncanny melting for the blight that's going to come from this, right? This will get blighted because these guys are going to attack. No, this gets distributed evenly, right? This will kill one and one and one. But if I go here, this will prevent Blight and defend. But over here, will this get Blighted? Will this section get Blighted? Even though I have three Dahan here? Will I receive Blight and my presence get removed? No, right? Because it's even. So we're actually okay there. Right, but I need to, I need to defend... I need to defend here is the problem. I need to defend here to prevent Blight. Here, we'll receive Blight, but I will be able to destroy the city and take them down. Yeah, Nature's Resilience, I agree. Uncanny Melting. Well, Uncanny Melting I was going to play later to remove the Blight that is inevitable right here, I believe. If this gets Blight, Uncanny Melting, I'm going to save. But I'm not sure the Blight will happen here. I think Blight doesn't happen here, right? Because I have the six damage. They don't defend. It does get Blighted. Okay, okay. Then I'm going to play Pull Beneath the Hungry Earth, and I'll just start removing things. And just start gaining fear. Because I'm going to be angry. You think defending where I have the Dahan is best, huh? Just so I can get the free kills and just take the Blight here no matter what and lose presence. Yeah, I'm getting Blight no matter what. I agree. Okay, 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 okay. But I kind of want to play this pull beneath the hungry earth and do some damage because I'm angry. And then you can use the Dahan again, says. You're right. Everybody's right. Everybody, you're right. Everybody's right. Chat is right. Chat is right. They don't want to see me get wiped too quickly. It's <laughs> basically what's happening. All right, so we're going to play Nature's Resilience here. It's done. Ravage me. Okay, defend it. Boom, boom, boom. Fear! That's a crit. That's bonus crits for the people. That was a chat call. Alright, so they're gonna build in the wetlands. And then we're gonna have another fight. Okay, they're coming to the coastal. Uh, coastal, uh, coastal lands means they, they'll go to every coastal land, which is these three. Oh, that's a good point, Denton. It also spreads out my two, <laughs> my two sacred sites, right? Okay. One damage. So, so I can do two damage if I do this in sands and the wetlands. 
with a, a token on it. I don't have one. I don't have presents anymore there. So this card is actually not good now. <laughs> Crap. Uh, I can I can take out one explorer basically, right? This was a bad choice. I chose poorly. Because now I lost my presence on this one. So I can basically just. I could just. Dahan can take the damage, right? I want to get the fear, though. But I need the sands of the wetlands to do the damage. So I can't use this on the mountain coast. Oh, yeah, I can. If Target Land has my thing, I get one fear and one damage. Oh, I see what you're saying. I can do it, I just don't get the bonus damage. Okay, and then this guy gets knocked off. Okay, right, I was reading the card wrong. Thank you. Months and years go by as they always have. Okay, one more fear and we get another fear card. Okay, uh, which I think now we might be in a position where we need to reclaim our cards already. I think it's a reclaim turn so I can get my, so I can get my river's bounty back and just keep making dudes. So we can battle. And I gain a power card. Maybe I get something good. Give me something good. Plus I'll get back my push three dudes away card, right? Oh, I have it right here. Mm, but that's not, that's going to be too slow. I'm reclaiming cards. Because they're going to ravage this thing. So what happens is when a, when a section gets ravaged, the land, and it gets blighted again, guys... It will receive another Blight, which I'm getting wrecked on, and it cascades, meaning it will jump to another spot around it. And if it goes to another Blight, that one will then cascade, and then you did. But I do need to defend this wetland on the coast. I agree. So I need to figure out how I can wipe it out. So we need Fear. <laughs> we can maybe go for the Fear win here. So I think I'm going to play... I'm going to do the Reclaim cards. Um, I'm going to reclaim cards. Accelerated Rot. Two fear, four damage. What? Good card. So because I, gra I grabbed a power card, right? It's a major power. What is... How do you know... And it explain this to me because I, I keep missing this. Like, I understand that this is a major power card, right? And so I have to sacrifice a card in my power card deck to make space for it. How do I know that this is a major power card? Is it its cost? Is it because it's like four plus? I missed that notorious. Or is it this top right icon? I think it says on the back of the card, says Sir James. Like, is it like this stuff? Oh, it's right here. It is in the top right. It's hard to see. So this icon in the bottom right corner is the major power deck. This is considered a major card, right? It's on the back and it's right here in the top right, right? How do you flip the card? Can you flip the card? Oh, right here. Ah. Great. No. Look at that. Figured it out. Chat got it. That's bonus. Bonus crits to the chat. Use those crits to enter the giveaway. Chat's saving the day tonight. All right, so there you go. Major power card. So I have to sack one of my old ones, which is going to get rid of this one. Not using it. Now we have six. Okay. In the jungles and the wetland, we can do four damage and, and cause two fear. I don't think we'll be able to get this, which is sad. But we'll try. So I think we can go for Accelerated Rot. It's a slow play. And our Flash Floods, right? So this might give us a fear bonus we need after we get wrecked. Yeah, top right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Top right corner. I just saw it. But yeah, the backs of the cards tell you what they are. But minor car power cards cost either 0 or 1. Majors cost 2+. plus. Most expensive is an 8. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oh, we can defend. Okay, so we're going to defend the ravaging in this wetland. 
And then we're gonna do accelerated rot here. After they build more. I think I'm I think I'm on a downward spiral right now, guys. I think I'm in super big trouble. I think I'm in super big trouble in this game. Learning game. Alright. Let's defend. Okay. Invaders ravage the wetlands. Ow. Okay, so I get to choose where I want the blight to go. Because it's cascading now to one of these lands. Um, let's go there. Mission fail. I think you guys knew that was going to happen. Dude. Savage. And we've died to blight. The invaders. They were too strong. This is how it ends. That's the game, folks. <laughs> and uh, that's Spirit Island. That's Spirit Island. Uh, at the most... Not the most easy mode, but a pretty easy mode. And I failed. <laughs> All right. To, cel to uh, celebrate that loss... Let's fire off the wheel for Mr. Draco. Thank you so much, Mr. Draco. For spinning the wheel with all the crits. Just spent 10,000 Twitch crits to do that. Well, you can't do much unless you can rewind. So there you go. Best solo character? I, I really have only played this one. Oh, 10 push-ups to Lyle. We will write that down and add those to Lyle's bounty of push-ups. 10. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Draco. Quick game. Yeah, but hey, hopefully... So, so let me ask you this, guys. Let me ask you this before we continue on with some Spirit Island. Um, sounds like a lot of you guys, in chat at least, are big fans. I mean, a lot of people love this game. It's a very highly adored game, and I see why. It's deep, man. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of time you almost have to spend in this to get through that learning curve, and then just, like, you want to play more and more games. Like, I'm already ready to play the next game with you guys because it feels good to have you with me. Um, I want to make, I, I like, I want to make decisions, um... But a lot of times when I'm doing this, it's like I keep making the wrong decision, right? When I'm just playing by myself here and it's like, well, I don't understand how that car. But you guys help me decide, make like, then it's like I can look to you guys um, as someone that's played the game a lot and say like, wait, why would I go inland when I could just go to the coastal? Like I'm very aggressive. You might say, well, with that spirit, you're not supposed to be as aggressive as you think you are. Forget the fact that you're trying to destroy all those dudes and you're going to get blighted anyway, right? Stuff like that. Um... And it feels, it doesn't feel bad, man. It doesn't feel bad, man. Right? <laughs> you know what I was saying? Sometimes it does yours. Yeah, I know. I, I, well, you're funny, Mr. Draco. And I might have to. If, if Bedell shows up, he's all about the burpees, man. He's always, he's, he's done the Bedell, he's done the Bedell, hey, Chris, I've done this many burpees challenge. So if he comes in and throws some burpee shade, I'll have to do some. Um, I owe, what do I owe? I owe 282 burpees to you guys. Um... <laughs> Blanketon against you. Yeah. So, so I mean, and, and a lot of times, and I'm just saying this because I'm going through my head with this game too, which is cool. This game makes you really think about your gaming, and especially when you're stepping into strategy like me as kind of an outsider in the strategy world. Uh, I play a lot of games with Lyle, as you guys know, and it's nice to sort of bounce these ideas off Lyle, and this is what our after-game texts are. And especially if this was a co-op, which is why we're going to be playing this game more in the future, um, it's cool to bounce it off you guys, so I appreciate that. That's really cool. Mr. Draco says, seems like they will attack coasts no matter what. Yeah, that's their most, at least on that map, when they come from the, the coast, it's pretty savage. Biggest strategy tip. In general, one land that is a very big problem is easier to handle than a large number of medium problems. Good point, as we just saw. <laughs> and you always got to think two turns ahead. Very true, very true. All right, well, um, I'll remind everyone that the giveaway is still happening to get your copy of Spider Island Digital and Melt Your Brain at home. Um, for fun and have all that goods courtesy of handle lobber games we're gonna get into game number two right now uh here's our defeat menu um hope you enjoy the defeat menu uh, i failed miserably yep, splash splash all right new game we are a fairly small island and we are straightforward on our ways because we can't handle anything else and i'm gonna do well it won't let me uh Where's, where's my water dude? Oh, is he right here? No, wait. That's a different water dude, right? 
What? Hey, where's our, uh... Oh, he's already on the map. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's already on the map. Let's go. Okay, same map. Invaders, come at me, bros. Let's go. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Dugan's giving us another tip. You want to control... So, as the river, you want to control where they are. Most... Move the invaders out from the lands they just built or explored. You've removed the problem for at least one turn. Maybe two. True. <laughs> He's already on the board. Thank you. Okay. So here we go. Um, once again, win condition, kill everything. Terra level one. We got our hand of cards up here. River's bounty, all that good stuff. I think, let's see, they started in the wetlands. So they started in the wetlands with me. That's interesting. That's interesting. Where did I feel like I didn't... So I remember I read in the in the instruction manual. Read this in the instruction manual. If you feel like you're low on a thing, say presence, in your presence track, like energy or cards you could play, focus on one other track. Like Dugan's saying, like this time, we can't control our starting wetland, which is right here. Because they're going to build there no matter what on their turn. Correct. Because even if I destroy their their town, they're still going to have an explorer there. Unless... Unless I go two cards... Oh, right. I can't destroy this because it's inland. And it's not coastal. But couldn't I do... Couldn't I do wash away... No, that's a slow play. Right, you gotta remember what your cards are. Oh, make sure you get to a bonus like three energy or three cards. Good call, Denton. Yeah, because going by my track on my spirit board, as you guys can see here in the top right, I have to get to here before I get the three over my start, like the, the bigger bonuses. So I think I want to get more energy. But more energy means I want to play more cards. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I want more cards. I feel like I want more cards. More energy means play major powers. More cards means go minor powers. Right. Um, exactly. But you've got to get to those major powers. The major powers are pretty cool for, like, AoE blasts, right? I know one of them's six damage and stuff like that. Okay, so I want to go energy. Let's go energy track. Something's telling me I should be going energy. And I think I'm going to go here. And I want to be able to play at least two cards. I think our start last time was pretty good. So I think I want to go here. And I want to go here. So I'm at least touching one of everything. I don't know if that's a good strat. But I feel like now I've kind of got like a touch on the board everywhere, right? Um... We want to wash away these dudes. Well, we're going to flash floods, right? Because I want to blast this guy so that they can't build. I have two energy, but I can play two cards. And then I can move some guys. Okay, I'm going to do this. I also trigger my innate power with the elements on the cards, which is good, right? So I can, I can massive flooding later. And I can move River's Bounty up into here. Maybe do some stuff, right? So I'm basically just going to flash flood this dude here. Is that smart? Wait. No. No. Ugh. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to get myself in a tangle, and then you guys are going to dig me out of it. I should have used Wash Away on the Coastal Wetland. Oops. And then I could have pushed him away rather than blast him. Maybe I'm too aggressive with this guy. Because I was thinking of just doing this. Um, I mean, I'm going to lose my presence here, right? So if I, re if I reverse this... Okay, we can unwind, unwind. Let's unwind this madness. Oh, this is slow play, though. 
So I have to play that afterward, though. Easier to let them build and then move them as a place of your choice. Right, they're only building. They're not ravaging. Good call. So let's go. Okay, I'm going to try that. What? Oh, whoops. Oops, wrong card. Wrong card. So wash away, and then I'm going to do River's Bounty this turn. I'm not going to blast them for because I feel like I'm, I am waste damage. I still got my innate power bonus. All right, flash. I don't have any fast cards. So they're going to build. Build. And if we go energy strat, if we go energy strat, and we want to go for the big thing, if I stack them all up somewhere, they're going to the mountains. They're going to the mountains. To the mountains. Yar. Okay, now the wetlands are going to get wrecked, right? Oh, I've got one of each here. That's really savage. Um, so I can wash away... I can wash away everything from here. But I could just do one wash away here. Because they're going to ravage these mountains next. That's super savage. This guy can handle these mountains next turn. Well, he's going to build, right? So that's not good. Oh. Okay. They're going to ravage here in the wetlands next. They're going to build in the mountains next. I can move some stuff around. We can move some stuff around right now. And I can get more dudes. So it's like, where do I want to get dudes? I kind of want to gather dudes. Here. I want. I kind of want to... I kind of want to do this. I want to do this. I'm going to move these guys here. I'm going to make some more dudes. I'm just going to get a bunch of dudes. I'm going to pop out some bros. And then what if, what about this strat? What if I start pushing? What if I do this? What if I? What if I do this? That's going to hurt me. So it's like, this is, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that this is going away, right? Like, this is my life now. Like, game over, bro. Oh, wait, 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 I see something. I see a thing. I see, I see a thing. I see a thing. I see a thing. What if I do this? I move those dudes there, right? I get a dude. I do this. I'm going to push him. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get these guys out of here. Get out of here, guys. Then, I'm going to push this guy. Uh, here. Wait, what? Well, I know they're going to do the damage first. Wait, what happened? Because I can flash floods. Hmm. So I can regain my cards. Man. This is like a struggle, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like in the tank. I'm in the tank here. I'm in the tank. I'm in the tank. I think it would have been better to clump on the mountain. Well, they're going to build on the mountain next. <laughs> they're going to they're going to clump on the mountain. I'm afraid to clump them up. Oh, I've now created a whole set of small units. You're setting yourself for a, for a lot of hurt. Right. Rather than clumping them up. Ah! It's like stops I'm, I'm like I'm like trying to mitigate the problem by 
breaking up their party when I should be clumping them up and then blasting them down, right? Okay, okay, we're gonna dig ourselves out of this hole, guys. Okay, what's gonna happen? They're gonna attack here. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I'm gonna lose that presence. So we need more presence. Um, let's go add a presence. Okay, we got uncanny melting. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep focusing on card plays because I was someone said, uh, yes, I'm very lonely, Rel. Of course, you know that, man. Oh, look, it's Geek Jock. He lost my number. I'm king of Spirit Island. I don't need your Spirit Island plays, Dan Dan. <laughs> Actually, I need them. I'm getting lots of help here. Um, my brain is on fire, and I keep making the same mistakes. Um, surprised. Uh, you know our level of strategy games, and I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to accept this. Um. I kind of want to do this. Right, right, right. I'm trying to I'm trying to use get I'm trying to go one track this time. But I want to I'm kind of wanting to spread out my abilities, right? So it's like do I I'm I'm connected to everything. I'm about to lose this one. So I'm kind of like do I go here? I'm kind of wanting to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Um, uh, do I want to play any of these? I need how many? I need one and two blues. Okay, we can do that. Uh, we can throw out Uncanny Melting. Flash Floods. Boom. Ooh, we could go, we could go next level. Oh, no, I can't. I can only play two cards. Okay. Okay. Finish playing cards. Fast plays. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Flash Floods. Um... Who we pop in here? We pop in this guy? He won't do anything. He's not a problem. Get out of here. You're the worst. This guy's gonna die. We're gonna lose that presence. This guy's gonna die. Not a problem. This guy's annoying because he's gonna build. So if we can pop him. Boom, get wrecked. Never been less scared. All right. This is what, this is my problem. This is my fault. What's about to happen here is my fault. That guy, that was, yeah, his all mate right here. Yeah. This is my fault. <laughs> That's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. What up, Dragon Cat? How you doing? Uh, my head hurts. I have a headache. <laughs> the invaders build in the mountains. Okay, build away. So we're gonna we're gonna make sure they. That's gonna become. Well, I'd rather it be in the sands, but. Okay, here they come. They're coming to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we don't have any sacred time passes. I don't have any sacred sites. We lost all sacred sites. Well, I have one choice here, and that's to reclaim the cards. Oh, we got our defense six. Okay. We need to get some sacred sites going, though. Because, uh... Yeah. Yeah. We need to get that fear track up, man. Okay. Okay. We need some sacred sites. Okay. So they're going to ravage the mountains here. They're going to ravage the crap out of these mountains. Here we're good. And they're going to build in this jungle. So it's like, it's almost like we've got them spread out now, right? So if I can just push them there, push everyone together, and build up some dudes somewhere. I think I'm going to go River's Bounty. I can't use this card. I can't use this card because I don't have a sacred site. I'm not going to use Boon of Vigor unless I need it for the elements. This would allow me to gain some fear if I want to blast this off. It's not going to stop anything. Um, this would allow me to clear the, the build on one of these two sites. I think I'm going to do this. And we can do some more pushy push. Okay? The Steam tutorial's awesome, Geek Chalk. Dan Dan, the board game man. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot for getting into the game. Different mistake I've made twice. Here's another mistake I've made twice. 
You can gain powers in order to have enough cards to play. This game looks like it's toast. You're going two cities. You're getting two cities you can't stop. Yeah. I definitely feel that way. Oh, crap. I'm just... I'm, I guess I'm just trying to clump them up to see if I can maybe get, like... I mean, because what's going to happen is I'm going to get blighted out, right? I'm going to die to blight again. Okay. I need bros. I need dudes. And see, like, I can't get my dudes together here. So I could bring dudes in here, and we could have a battle. But that's going to be bad news bears, right? But I could push everyone to these mountains. So, like, if I did this, is that so bad? Like if I did this... And did something like that... And then I push... I'm going to push away these dudes. I'm just going to send them to the mountains. I'm going to send all these guys... Like this. I'm going to lose this round from... I'm going to lose to Ravaging? Well, they're going to Ravage here. But I'm going to kill them here. I'm going to let them take this one. I'm just thinking I'm going to let them take this one, right? Um, I'm kind of just experimenting, I guess. I almost need to add presents. Power card, one time. Okay. <laughs> I started going... Uh, I started going... Uh, card play. Okay, here we go. Um, I need... Who do I need to fight off? I'm going to make this my thing because it's touching the most spots. We're going to go... I could play this here. Oh, wait, no. They're going to they're gonna ravage here. I could put defend six here. I can remove... Oh, no, I can't remove. I can move Blight from here so it won't Cascade. I mean, it will. It's too late. Do something like that. See, I don't have anything in the sands or wetlands. The sands and wetlands I've dealt with. So it's almost like I could throw out flash floods. What do I need? I need a lot more, more, more things. Um, I haven't, I haven't produced any fear this game. Yeah, if I defend here, I'll live, right? So I'm going to do this, just to get at least massive flooding going. All right. Defend my sacred site. All right, that's going to take me out. I hate that, man. I hate the fact that they attack at the same time. That's so hard to deal with. Because this will cascade. Well, it'll, it'll go here, right? And then it's like I just have to choose where it goes, and can't I just send it to the sands? What up, Xbox Mayor? Oh, that one city, man. But I can remove the... Wait. I could remove the blight here and we won't have a problem. Or I defend six here. What if I defend six here and remove this blight? And then, and then this is just, uh, I'll, I'll add some fear, right? Always fear. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Isn't that what Yoda said? 
Okay. So. Ding! Get feared on. What? Double fear crit. Ouch. Okay. They're going to build. Up here. They're going to build up north. North. Are they going sands? Okay. They're coming to the sands. Oh, that's it. We've got we've got the sands isolated here. Strategic all those strategic war games paying off. Um I could move this blight. It would be nice to get some more fear, but Whoa. I could just do this to remove this blight, right? That way if they keep going crazy it'd be nuts. Oh, Wrath of the Galanda! Hi, with the 32 months. Thanks for the streams, he says. Thank you for the 32 months of support, man. Let's spin that wheel. Let's spin the wheel, guys. I gotta, I gotta rest my brain here while we spin the wheel for Wrath of the Galanda. Oh my gosh! Woo! Let's see if we can win you guys some crits so you can enter the giveaway. We're giving away a copy of this game, courtesy Handle Lover Games. If you haven't picked it up yet, it's on Steam right now. Here we go, one time. Oh, five burpees for me. All right, that means I'm at 287. We're not at 300 yet. I have a crit. Um, I'm on my own a lot this week, so I'll be doing some burpees later on during the week. I'm not going to do a bunch of burpees before I go to sleep tonight because then I won't sleep. Thank you so much, Rather Galanda. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I'm going to get crit fit. Okay. If invaders are present. So I have to use this. If I do this, I, can... I can't do that. Why? Oh, my sacred sight's too far away. Every time, man. All right, what are we, what are we pushing around here? I kind of want to just push more dudes into the into the freaking mountains, man. So he can't build, and then I'll just fire this off, like here, because I can't remove blight from the jungle, but I can gain fear. I mean, this is going to happen. I'm going to move this dude here. Go to the mountains. I'm just going to stack them up, man. <laughs> no, this is... This feels really bad idea. And then I guess we'll just generate some fear, right? Because it has to be... I can't remove blight from anything else, so let's just get some fear. All right. Days of months pass. Xbox is getting back to emergency ops in a few hours. Dude. Take care, Xbox. That's right. You guys are about to get hit with another storm. Is that what's going on, man? I did see that today. Dude, stay safe as always, dude. Keep your family safe. Thank you for protecting everybody else out there, man. Xbox is down in the south of the Americas here. Take care, man. We're thinking of you, dude. Stay safe. Keep Tanner safe. Thanks for everything, man. Stay safe all around. The jungle would have been a good choice to since the next Ravage, it would have killed the Explorer. Oh, you're right. You're right. I could have just sacked the explorer, right? I'm being told to go double growth presence. Right side is yuck side. Yeah, that's right, because of the spin, huh? Well, stay 15 inches. Stay safe, man. Stay safe. Well, this is so we can build our track, right? You want to be able to. We want to be able to grab the reclaim. Oh, look at that. If we can get to this, I've never seen this before. This is pretty awesome. If we can start playing lots of cards. Okay. All right, here we go. We need to think about this madness, right? So reclaim means I can pull one back out of my discard pile each turn, right? But I only have two energy. Shouldn't I grab more energy? I think I need more energy. I mean, it's only two energy, but... But this gives me... Oh, yes. I, oh, that's right. I need. I get the bonus from my dude for doing that. Good call. Okay, get to re bring something back. All right, what do we got in here? Push dudes, gather dudes, damage one, 
defend six. I think that's what we want. Nature's resilience. Okay, we want nature's resilience to... Is that what we want? I don't think that's what we want. I mean, this is what we want. I want to do damage. Oh. Okay. Um, I want to deal with this. Okay, so the jungle is about to get ravaged up here. One, two, three, four, five. Way more than six. So this doesn't do anything for me here. If we gather somewhere... It's not this card pile. Uh, where's the gather? Where's the gather? Where's the gather? Where's bounty? This can be zero from anywhere. Um, I can push more dudes. Can I remove? I can remove a blight. So I do want this. So I can remove this blight. So that when they attack here, this blight doesn't cascade um yeah I should have done that jungle dude huh okay so if I do this and this I have one more card I can play I can just play this for the the thing okay okay so they're gonna ravage the jungle Nobody's in the sands. We've got that under control. I want to remove this blight. And then whatever. Give myself an energy. Okay, let's see what the fear card is. This will save the day. Oh, each town destroys one explorer in its land. Oh... Whatever. Whatever. I mean, at least it killed one dude, right? Okay, so that blights it there. Which means I get to choose where I want it to cascade to. Um, I'm going to say it's going to go to the... Here. Oops. Oh, I mean, it didn't matter. But I don't, I don't want to lose my sacred site, right? They're going to the wetlands. They're coming to the wetlands. They're coming to the wetlands. Okay. They are going to ravage the sands. All right, yeah, we got to turn, man. We got to turn. We got turns. We got turns. Okay, if your target land has a thing, a uh, presence, you can do one damage. Okay, the sands are clear. I can kill off these guys in the wetlands. We don't have to worry about anything. We can clear the wetlands. So we could, we could, I could push this dude over to the other wetlands. And then wipe him out with this. We gotta get this fear track up, man. This is gonna add one fear to them. Okay, so we're gonna move this dude here. And we're gonna combo wombo here, right? Blam blam. Boom. Yeah? Yeah? Big plays. Oh, I did it right. Dugan says, use massive flooding toy. Yes, I did it right. Woo! We did one thing right. Next level plays. I saw it. I'm getting smarter. I'm getting smarter. Great. No. Clever gal. All right, we're one away from the fear. So we're going to get some cards because we have no cards. Oh, we got a major card here. Accelerated Rot. Two fear. Four damage. Throwing this bad boy away. All right, we got big cards. We got big cards. We got big cards. So we're clearing the sands because no one's going to attack nothing. Um, it's time to play big cards on... Oh, this has to be played... So this has to be played in the jungles or the wetland. So this would be good for this. 
up here, not this mountain, right? So I think we're gonna go to, gonna go to, and we can play three cards. So we need two yellow, two yellow, three blue. I think accelerated rot is what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna choose these and then I'm gonna look over to chat to see what chat's deciding here. So accelerated rot allows us to do two fear. Now I can play two more cards. If I can get three yellow, two blue, three green, I can do five damage and remove a blight. Oh, that would be great over there, huh? Okay, I don't want to do any push things. Um, don't need to remove any blight. Uh, I can. I just need to gain one fear. That would be good. But I'll get that by destroying cities with accelerated rot. Is there is there something I can do here? I could do flash floods to gain the fear by destroying the city and get that fear card up. This will also proc a push, which I don't really need. Um, don't need to run this yet, right? Unless I just want to remove a blight. We would have... We would not have two blue. I would have two blue if I play this and, like, River's Bounty to make some dudes. But I won't... I won't get fear. This will produce the fear too late. I kind of want fear now. Do I want fear now? Oh, I only have one blight left. Ah, yes. Good call. Good call. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I should have kept the energy, right? Um, I think then I'm going to go nature. I'm thinking this through. So I think I'm going to go nature's resilience. And then I have one more card. And I think it's going to be River's Bounty. And we're not going to roll the dice on what the fear card could be. This way we get the bonus on Nature's Resilience. The push in Tier 2 of Massive Flooding, that's this. Up to three. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. I think this is my play. Okay, so I want to remove some blight. So I can do blight here, right? Like remove a little bit of the blight. Because if, if this attacks here, it's going to cascade twice. Which is then going to wipe me, right? Is that how this blight works? If you have two blight tokens in a, in a location... Like right here. Is this going to cascade twice? So I'm super dead, right? So I should blight. I should remove blight here. It just cascades like normal. So I could choose to put it here and lose the presence here. Which is bad. It will cause two blight. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm just thinking I should get rid of the blight here though. I think. Right. This is probably the spot I want to get rid of because this is one goes on the land and one goes next to it. But if it so I'm clear here. If it goes here, then it's going to go to one of these two, right? Just get rid of this blight then. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this then. I'm just going to get rid of that one then, if that's all that's going to happen. Clean up some of this blight, but thanks for keeping a, an eye on the blight track. I wasn't even keeping an eye on that. That's that's the problem, man. That's what kills me last time. I could have rolled the dice on the fear card. Okay, they're coming to the mountains. That's okay. We can handle this dude in the mountains. We can handle the dude in the mountains. Okay, we're going to be ravaging the wetlands? No. But we're going to have to deal with these mountain bros. Okay, so we're, we're headed to the jungle. Headed to the jungle. Oh, we're one away from the... 
the bonus on the accelerated rot, which is uh, you were talking about. Okay, so if we do accelerated rot here, little bit of fear. So I could push dudes. I could move this guy out of the build here into here just to get him out of there, right? Like this dude, just get him out, put him up in here. Um, I'm going to blow this up with two fear and get rid of these two towns. And then we're going to set up for the uh, the mountain fight that's going to happen, right? Or I could, oh, 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 I could push this guy up here and just get rid of him, right? Because he's going to ravage in here, and it's like, whatever, dude. Yeah, so this guy... Go here. Never been less scared. Um, this, I want to shoot here. He's going to up our fear track, get us closer to win, and then we can go crazy fear build. This is four damage. Yeah. Distribute it to take out the cities. Two more fear. Right? That was good. And then this, I'm going to accumulate them here, I think. I'm going to pull one each off these wetlands. Because I only need one here. And I think I want to pull them... Well, if I pull one down here, then he will make another dude, right? Rather than coming to these sands, because I want to set up for this. I want to be able to get here, right? Oh, I can just do this. Pull this dude in. I'm going to pull them all into the center here. Is that stupid? I should have just pulled one. I should have just pulled one. I over, I over committed. I overcommitted. I overcommitted to my jungle fight. Okay. Um, okay. If I get a power card, maybe we'll get something awesome. And then I can pull the. I can pull this and get the three poner bounties. And I get to reclaim one. And start blasting this down. We're also going to get to pure, pull a fear card, right? So, I'm thinking my major power cards are going to be pretty awesome here if I can pull some more energy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see what our power card is. If target land has dude, push all dudes. Otherwise, remove a blight. Ooh. Okay. So I'm thinking of doing the four card so that we can get this nuts ability. Can we get there? What do we need? Three yellow, four blue, one gray. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's four energy. I, I think we can get there if I do this. Accelerated rock can't help with the mountain. Yeah, I'm not planning on that. I think I'm... Oh, no, I, I was planning on this innate power. I'm trying to get to this innate power. So... And that's one away from a, a, a sacred spot? Yeah. I think I'm just going to make this a sacred land. Right? I don't know. Thanks for the follow, BK Westman. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Yeah, Accelerated Lorat can't help us there. Because it needs to be in the wetlands. But... I think I'm going to make more dudes. Is it smart to make more dudes? Like, what am I trying to... Like... If I get... Oh, shoot, where's that card? Jesus. Alright, um... Range zero. Target is any. 
Oh, but it has to be on a spot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Pull that back. Get... Okay, right. Now give me my thing. I think we're gonna place this here. No, 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 no. No. Where do we want presents? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like having the sacred... Oh, jeez. I think nature's resilience, we just want to pull. But accelerated rot is going to finish this off up here, which is nice. So, but I don't think I'm going to play accelerated rot this turn. I'm going to pull it in. Just to have it. We can use it the end of next turn but I, I would like to try to proc my innate power this turn. Three yellow, four blue, one gray. So. Oh, we're two gray off. I needed to play more. I need to play more and be able to play more cards. Even with the four card play, it didn't matter. Even with a four card play, it didn't matter. But what do we get? Instead, two damage. Okay, so we get to do two damage and push three dudes away. Which I could push those three dudes in here and they could just get wrecked, right? So that's good. Plus we can pop a fear card. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. So I'm thinking I'm going to pop their town here. Get some fear. So that's two fear cards we get to draw. Victory level two! Woo! Victory condition. Remove all the buildings. Okay, let's get these fear cards, guys. Let's hit that drum roll. Let's hit that drum roll because the fear cards win games. Fear cards win games. Each player removes one explorer or town from a land with two or fewer invaders. Oh. Moves one. Okay, so this guy, this guy just goes away. That's it. Ah, okay. More fear, guys. More fear. Let's let's hit the drum roll. Come on. We need them to be super scared. Destroy all cities. In each land with Dahan, defend one plus an additional defend one per Dahan. Oh great, we have seven. Oh. Okay. Wish we knew that was coming up. They're building in the mountains. Build. I'll have your little town. Okay, the invaders explore. Okay, we got a level two card, so they're going to the jungle and the sands. So they're coming into our jungle here. That guy's not going to be a problem. So that's the end of their journey, right? Okay, that level two card wasn't too bad, and we can handle it. So we could almost... So they're going to ravage the mountains. So what was my thought? Deal two damage so we can wipe that town. We just need to beat beat this town before we get blighted. Right? If target land has explorers, push all the explorers. Otherwise, remove one blight. So if I push all the explorers out of there... Oh, I needed to defend, right? Um, okay, so sands are wet. Ah, ah! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bind. So I was thinking of using massive flooding here to do two damage and push some dudes out. Song of Sanctity does not help with that. Right? They're going to build in... Excellent. Thanks for the follow, Synthetic Divine. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. We are in the tank, the crit tank. Mm. It's 
So the sands and the wetlands we have totally figured out. So I'm thinking I can do two days. I just need to remove these towns, man. And that blight is going to cascade over there. If I could get all the dudes out. If I could get all the dudes out. I could play this. I can only remove three dudes. I can only remove three of the four dudes. Dang. Synthetic Divine. I'm not. I'm familiar with this game enough to give bad advice, but not familiar with enough for my advice to be trusted. I trust it. I trust it. I'll trust any advice. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking, man. Well, I want to destroy the town, but I want to remove all four dudes. Destroy two explorers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good good point, because this can be played in the mountains. Because then I have... I, oh, yes. Good point. I agree with it. This is what I was... This is... Yeah. Exactly what I was trying to do. Right. That way I can play it. Good call. That's the puzzle we need to figure out. Because I don't want this blight to cascade. Thank you so much, Dugan. That's exactly, like, I was, like, right there with you that whole time. <laughs> so that's what I was trying to accomplish. was, like, how do I get these guys out of there? I didn't even think to, like, spread the damage one-to-one. -one. Push as much as you can onto the wetlands because they're not doing anything with those next turns. Buying time for bad things to happen later. It's a strat. Hey, man. Kind of been pushing that. I've, I've been accumulating everything in the mountains and these jungles up here this game. Um, it's holding out. I've gotten some tangles. I've made some mistakes that I made earlier that I, I promised I wouldn't. Um, this blight has to be on the spot, right? Um, uh, but this is mostly just a gain of fear, um, currently, right? So... I don't have any blight in any of those places, sands or the wetlands. So, I'm just going to do this for the fear. Because... There's no... Let's get the fear. It's a fear card. Okay. Time goes by. I'm basically four buildings from a win. I know. I know. It's so close. It's so close, Denton, and I'm, the clock is ticking. I just got to remove all the buildings because that's our terror condition now, right? Our victory condition. We just got to scare them off. We're like this close, man. But there's like four clocks that are ticking. <laughs> there's four clocks in this game we're running on. I have so many guys in this jungle. All right, they're going to ravage these mountains. I could go for the power card and get this three energy, which may pay off if we get a lot of energy. Um, I'm curious. This would give us an energy, a power card, and we get all our cards back. And I'm doing this. Tsunami. Whoa, tsunami. Oh. Tsunami, yes. Uh, do I want to get rid of wash away or pull beneath the hungry earth? This gives us multiple things, but do I need moons for anything? I don't really need moons, right? No, I need mountains. But this has both. This gives us three... Uh, how do I value these two cards? I, this gives me fear and two, possibly two damage. This just moves dudes around. I think I'm going to get rid of Wash Away. I'm sad. This will give us more energy. Um, tsunami will wipe this out, right? Is that how Tsunami works? Yes. It has to be coastal? Well, at least this can destroy... If you have three blue, 
you have three blue and two gray, and each other coast of land on the same board, one fear, four damage, and destroy a bro. That wipes everything here. Okay, so Tsunami, if I can get six energy, which so I need this, will wipe all this out. Nice. This, then, I think I throw it here? Um, and, oh, but Tsunami's slow, so I want to get some defense, right? So it doesn't, okay. I didn't get six energy, guys. How do I get all, how do, how do, what? What, why am I thinking my energy? How would I get six energy? How am I going to get six energy to gain? Taking the zero card if you wanted six energy next turn. What? I need to save my energy. Wait. Huh? Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I didn't know I was going to have the tsunami card, right? Right. Energy, you can store up energy. Right, right, right. So if I wash, if I get rid of wash away. Oh, you're saying like a, a couple turns ago, assuming that I might get Tsunami as a card draw? I mean, I've never even... I've heard of this card somewhere. I forgot what I was watching. Something... It was like a review or something, and someone said, oh, you get a Tsunami, you just destroy everything. Um, I didn't know this card existed. So, like, as a player, I guess this is just knowledge, right? Now this is, like, a lesson I'm learning. Uh, great. So... So, crap. Well, we cleared the Blight from that, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's no Blight here. They're going to Ravage here. There's nothing happening here. Um, ah! What am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Claiming card. So, you're, oh, you're saying take River's Bounty. Right. Take River's Bounty so that I can get more dudes. Oh, in that case... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, wait, I'm still going to have to wait till later to get... I'm still going to have to wait till later to, to actually play that, though, because I'll still only have three energy. Because, like, what am I doing with this? So I could kind of just want to take nature's resilience and clear some more blight, like clear this blight right here. Um, like clean up some blight. Go nature's resilience and something else. I think I'm going to take nature's resilience. I think I'm going to take nature's resilience so I can clean up the blight in this jungle here. If you play anything else, you won't be able to tsunami us. It's what I'm saying. So you're either playing tsunami or you're ignoring the tsunami for now. Right, 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 right. You're totally right. You're 100% right. This is stupid. What am I doing? If I want to play tsunami, Synthetic is saying, don't be an idiot. Do what I was doing here. Get rid of this. Put this here. Now I get three energy per turn. Take, like, River's Bounty, cost zero, play River's Bounty, save my three energy, and finish playing cards and let them ravage away. There. Well, fine. We're saving energy. Next level plays. Next level plays. I get it. Right. Didn't saying majors are energy intensive. Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to get Blighted here. Ow. We have Blight to spare. So use... So it's... <laughs> It's kind of like Hearthstone. Health is a resource. Or any TCG. Health is a resource. Well, at least ones you have health in. Like Magic or Hearthstone. 
If we Hearthstone? Do we still refer to Hearthstone? Okay, the invaders are exploring two places. The sands and the mountains. That's fine. Go to those mountains. Go to the south sands down there. They can now get to the center sands. Dags, man. But we're just going to wipe these buildings. Or in these buildings. Okay, so we can wipe these coastal buildings. Ah, oh, this stupid building over here, man. I just want to win. I just want to win, man. All right, River's Bounty. Where are we going? So they're going to ravage the jungle, which we've got pretty well protected here, and these sands, right? So if I take dudes down here, if I gather... Wait, what? If I gather, uh, if I gather here, we'll definitely take it out. But it's almost like I should gather here. They're not doing anything there. This is going to be really bad. This is bad. This is bad news, bears. Um, it's almost like I should gather here, right? Let's do that. Make more dudes. I don't see a win. Denton, you, you calm down. We're going to tsunami. We're going to win. Don't you worry about it. There's going to be tons of fear generated right here. And the fear card we draw is what's going to cause it, right? Okay. Here we go. Um, What are we doing here? We need energy, right? Did we gain our three energy yet? Where did we get one energy from? We gained our three... We haven't gained our energy yet. <laughs> There's like five blight coming. Tsunami. Oh, tsunami is slow. Well, the thing is, we're going to reclaim our defense card. We'll place that there. So this will protect this. These aren't going to do anything. This is a huge problem. Actually, they can blight this right here. I can I can defend this. One, two. Oh. Yeah. I can defend this with a reclaim. You gain one extra energy from the card. Should wind up with seven. If I go reclaim? Oh, no, I'm going to end up with seven right now if I don't go. I could get eight if I don't go, if I go reclaim. Um... Yeah, the, okay. Oh, it did? The zero card I played. Oh, because I, I had two dudes. Good call. Thanks, dude. Yeah, good call. Good catch. I'm actually thinking of reclaiming the cards going to eight energy. If I go to eight energy, we then can play Tsunami. And it can throw Nature's Resilience somewhere. Well, seven. I actually don't need that eighth card. But the eighth card might give me more things. So I'd have a gray, grays, I'd have all these grays. I'd get the gray, I'm gonna get the blues. Might be worth it. Just remember to trigger secondary effect. What's the secondary effect? Three blues, two grays. It, each other coastal land on the same board. Oh, right, 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 I need to trigger that. Okay, so we gotta do this. I need that energy. Target spirit provides defend two in each of its lands. That's cool. Okay, well, we're doing Tsunami. And then I was thinking Nature's Resilience to reduce Blight. That. Jungles and Sands. This actually stops... No blight here. No, it would blight here. It wouldn't blight here. It won't blight here. We're going to get blight here, and it's going to cascade to all hell. One, two, three, four. But if I... If I... Nature's resilience here, we're good. So Tsunami needs three blue. We don't have enough blue. We don't have enough blue. 
Where's my other defense? I need this defend? No, nah, it's not gonna work. It's how's it gonna blight this jungle? Because it's three straight up, and it hits. It's only gonna hit the hand land for. This one's gonna do two damage. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, we'd play River's Bounty, right? And then we need to trigger one more blue. So I might as well throw this. Unless I do a... Uh, I can't push quick enough, right? Because they're going to do it before. Uh, I can't clear anything, right? Yeah, because the invaders hit first. YOLO. YOLO. Here we go. Hope for the best. Okay, target. Okay, so we're just going to play this out. On me. Okay, so we got some D. Got the D up. Got some defense. Okay, so we got... Jungles and sands. So I, if I throw this here, it'll prevent the blight from happening there. This is where I'm going to throw this. And actually can remove one blight here, which... Insurance. No, I can't remove one blight. I have to defend. What am I talking about, dude? I think it's just, just enough. Did we die? Nope, there's one blight. Oh my gosh. Build your little towns. Okay, they're exploring. Oh, we're gonna die to these explore cards. Oh, mountains in, in the... Okay, we're gonna wipe them out with our tsunami. We're gonna go to terror level three. I think with this fear, right? How many more fear cards? Oh my gosh, dude. This is nuts. Okay, slow plays. Okay, River's Bounty. I can make more dudes. Where do we need dudes? And I can push dudes and do two damage. So do I, do I just Tsunami now? Or no, I need to, I need to push dudes because this is going to do four damage and destroy a dude. Okay. So I can push dudes out of here to basically this wetlands, right? Oh, I can't push him that far. Okay, so this is... This is going to cause tons of damage. So I'm going to do eight damage... Oh my gosh. I'm going to need to do this to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, seven, five. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to focus on doing the towns. I know, I know, I know. Well, this will... So, okay, so this is going to do four damage. Okay, so this will do four damage and destroy... Okay, four damage in the other coastal lands. So, if I can remove... Yeah, all the towns. Well, what's the third what's the third victory condition? Isn't it just like all whatever? What what's the victory condition there? All explorers are dead. No cities. So what if why don't I just try to wipe the cities? That would leave me with one option here. So where am I putting this river's bounty? Where am I where am I accumulating? Is it here? Or here? Probably here, right? Yeah. Move those dudes there. 
so they can handle these bros. So now that's handled. Okay. Now I could blast down a city. This is 777, so uh, I need to take out one of these two towns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then push one of the guys. Right? So now I want to... We're going to get crazy fear bonus. Maybe that'll win us the game. So we'll throw... Here, that makes this eight. Exactly. Well, that makes that eight. Let's get him out of there, right? And then Tsunami here. Okay, this is nuts. There's the big crit move. Crit. Alright, that kills that. Kills that. That's tons of fear generation. Tons of fear generation. Boom, boom, boom. That's ultimate fear. Whoa! That was a big splash. Big splash. Okay, so now I choose. So this will wipe this, right? It's four damage. Boom, that's two more fear. This is nuts. Oh! Victory condition, no cities, guys. Leveled up, leveled Whoa. up, leveled up. Okay. Uh, do I keep that town? I keep the town probably, right? Or I wipe the town and just keep pushing towards the fear, right? Yeah, kill the town for the fear, man. Fear, fear me. That's right. Kill the town for the fear. Okay. I'm a mad spirit, man. We just blew our first tsunami. So... Yeah, they can totally win you the game. I mean, the fear cards, they're going to draw three fear cards here. So, if, if we get one that says, like, destroy some towns or cities or something, then we could dominate. I kind of want to get this up here. Do we reclaim... Okay, so sands and mountains are going to ravage. These guys are going to die here. That's no problem. So the sands and mountains have now just been washed out. We need to deal with... So accelerated rot could win us the game if we can get, if we can get there. So I think it's reclaim and gain energy, right? So if I do this, it'll get us to two, and then we'll gain three, which is five. Accelerated Rot uh, just takes four. It's just too much energy. Oh, crap. I'm at one Blight. Ah, the Blight counter guy. Ah, that's your that's your job, man. That's your job, Denton. You're the Blight counter guy. Blight. Okay, okay, okay. How are we doing this? We got to remove some blight. What do we have for removing blight? We could get some crazy sweepy stuff. We could deal with these sands of the mountains. We could wipe out one dude there. I think we reclaim. And then we try to play a bunch of cards to try to clear this mountain. What? How come I didn't get my energy? What? I guess we could move our dudes to that mountain. So when they ravage it, we take out that city. Oh, no, I'm gaining cards. Oh, oh, okay, we're not at that point yet. Oh, okay, because you didn't do presence. You haven't gained any energy yet. Okay, you're right, right, right. I, have to, I get to pick a minor or major card. Do I want a minor or major card right now? Can we look at them first? No. I think we do want to go minor, right? 
Something that can shove dudes around or just do some quick damage. Some fast damage. Minor almost 100%. Okay. River surges in sunlight gain a minor power. Okay, let's take a look. What do we got? We got call to tend. One damage to each city. Or defend 10. Jeez. Uh, one fear, one damage. Destroy one dude. If target land, to do two damage. Um, drift down into slumber. Defend one. If target land is dead, defend four. That doesn't help us. Take the defend. Take this defend? I mean, this call to 10. Oh, it's too slow. Take this one. So you're saying take the quicken earth struggles? Where am I defending, though? Here? The sand, the mountain? I have this defended. Like, he'll kill him, he'll take that, and then they'll die. <laughs> Blight and you lose. Ah! If you don't defend mountain, you die. Game over. So what am I defending with? Quick in the Earth struggles? I'm going with Rockman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Boom. All right, we only got five energy. <sighs> okay, where's that? It's right here. Quick in the Earth struggles. Okay, that'll give me damage 10. Defend 10 here. We just need to take out these cities, right? Because we're going to wipe this. Um, accelerated rot doesn't blow up. Um, it blows up this big building, but it doesn't remove. Oh, that's what I need to do. You're right. Quit being silly guy. Yeah, that's only I need to do. But these guys are going to build towns, so we don't have a problem, right? We can get this win. We can get this win because they're just going to build towns here, not cities. <gasps> Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so here we're going to throw... What? Oh, no. It needs to be a sacred site. This has to be a sacred site. I can go back. Yeah, I have more. I have a. I have a better defense. Yeah, we're roll, we're rolling this back. We're rolling this back. Okay, back to the stop. Back back here. Back here. Back here. Where's my other defense? Not that one. This one. Nature's resilience. This is the one we wanted. Ah, yes. Great. This is range one from a sacred site, not a sacred site. Yeah, this one requires you range zero. Oh, that was super quick. We did a little rewind there. We'll do nature's resilience. Okay, back to it. Okay, back to our plan to win this. Accelerate rot. Uh, River's bounty for the bonus, for the innate power bonus. All right. Here we go. <laughs> no problem. So, defend. Oh, here's the fear, guys. The fear. This, the fear might win it for us. This might not even matter, right? Because that's uh, Spirit Island. Fear one time. Each player removes one explorer town from a land with my stuff on it. Or a city from a land with a sacred site on it. So, go away. Wait, what? Wow, 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 wow. Oh, well, I maybe... Was that the only thing? Okay, that one didn't save us the game. Each player chooses a different land with a dude. Invaders take two damage per thing there. Chooses a different land. Invaders take two damage. Oh, we just do this here. Right? Boom. Fear. Get wrecked. So we didn't even need to defend there. Oh! Okay, last fear card. Invaders do not build in lands with bros. Dahan. Okay. They're going to ravage in the sands and the mountains. No problem. Missed us. Woo! We're going to build in the mountains and the wetlands. It's fine. This one guy gets a chance. 
We are going to explore the jungles in the wetlands. Okay, they're going to take a little while doing this. Fear saved me the trouble of needing to fend. Exactly. But hey, insurance, right? Dude, fear is, I love the fear deck. And I know Lyle is going to love the fear deck too because it's it feels RNG to me. <laughs> it's like the that's how you win games, dude. It's the it's the wild swing. Level 99 style. Okay, so we come up here and I win, right? Cuz if I if I clear this city, it's a win. Cuz there's no other cities here. Tons of fear. Oh, we want to hear see what their last fear card is though, don't we? Pew pew pew. And you. Yes. Game over victory! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yes! Chat, we did it! Yes! Oh, bonus all 20 crits for that win there. You guys all just got a bunch of crits for the win to try to win a copy of this game. We did it! Didn't doubt it for a second. <laughs> really? It's a VOD now. We can all rewind and see Denton saying. <laughs> <laughs> we got it though I love it I love it no oh, chat best camp on twitch we did it crits and chat crits and chat guys we all pulled it off we all pulled together and we saved the Dahan dude we all saved the Dahan with a crit there's the crit right there there are no cities on the island we did it let's did it we did it we did it let's see the victory here bring back the beautiful Jean-Marc music they're running away get out of here go back to the ocean Get out of here, invaders. This is a spirit island now. The invaders are deeply afraid and no cities remain to turn for refuge. The remaining populace swiftly evacuate the island. Mission accomplished. Uh, what nation were they supposed to? I think, aren't they all European? Isn't that what it, I thought they were all like EU. Is what, according to the theme. Um, that's what I think it says, uh, Europe. Um, that's it. It looks like the blight lasts forever. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. We'll remember. Always remember. And I wasn't using countries. I'm using, like, super base level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not playing with the uh, the advanced. I'm not... I, I'm just trying to win a game, dude. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not playing with the the, the uh, alternate things. But uh, there's a thing where if I, I still need to play this game more to understand what this means. Um, but we did it. First win ever, besides the tutorial. We got it. We got it. So, boom. We did it. And it's back to the menu, guys. We saved. We prepared. We did it. It's a mission accomplished, guys. Thank you so much for the help with that, man. We did it. We did it. We did it. We beat Spirit Island. We checked it out. You helped a newbie kind of figure out what's going on. I still have a lot, a lot of time that I need to put into this to understand some better plays and to go for the win. Um, I can't wait to try more of the... Uh, of, of the dudes, more of the spirits. Um, as you see, they've got the card library here that you can look through everything. Uh, the bringer of nightmares. Whoa, uh, yeah, the card library. Uh, and you just kind of go through the different spirits. You can check out their cards um, and check the game out. Art's really cool. Uh, the digital version's awesome. The tutorial's great. Um, but ultimately, I think this game is just going to be like mad, just time, time and effort and practice. Um, I know people adore it and I can see why because you put the time in you feel like you've like you're like a spirit island player man you're one of the spirits right ah it feels good mission accomplished for sure but to celebrate to celebrate we've got to do a drawing what so if you haven't entered yet we were generously uh given a key a steam key for spirit island digital which is currently available on steam it came out a little bit ago we we're um, proud to be one of the backers on Indiegogo to make this happen. Super awesome. Um, if you want to enter to win right now, you just got to be a follower of this, of the camp here on Twitch. So this is open to followers and subs. Subs get two times luck on our giveaways. You've been earning crits by helping me, um, in chat. You just got two tickets for free. Their first tickets free. Please just type exclamation point ticket in chat and you'll get a ticket. Um, and then if you play, if you've got more than that many crits, you can check your crits by typing. Thank you. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Jokers. Uh, good to have you. Uh, you type exclamation point crits. It'll tell you how many crits you have. Um, you then just type exclamation point ticket space and how many tickets you'd like to buy. And you're entered to win. 
there you go. Or if that's if that's troubling you, if you can't get into the Twitch chat easily, maybe you're just hanging out, uh, you can go over to streamelements.com slash creekcamp and enter there with your Twitch crits. Or with your crits, not your Twitch crits. Those are different. The crits that you've earned by watching. So I see everyone kind of getting in there. Uh, Rel's checking his crits leaderboard, as you can see. Number of crits per ticket are 10. I'm sorry, I should have clarified that. If I didn't, I'm sorry. It's 10, but your first one is free. So enter now, courtesy of Handelobber Games. Um, we're going to do that drawing right before we sign off here. Um, again, thanks to everyone in chat. We appreciate all your support. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's been great to do another night stream with you guys. I haven't been doing it as Lyle and Matt hold down this slot for Arkham Horror. So please come on back and uh, check them out in a few weeks. They're taking some time off. Uh, we're going to be playing more Spirit Island uh, in cooperative mode once Lyle gets back. Um, maybe with Dan Dan the Board Game Man and maybe other some special guests. I need to wrap my brain around this game a lot more and really just focus on, I think, a one or two spirits, right? And then start doing more co-op or try it out. So I look forward to playing more of this and then if I throw that forward, 48 stick. <laughs> Tight crits first and then uh, you do the math. Divide it by 10, right? Um, but uh, I appreciate all you guys' help and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Guys, be sure you check this out um, right away and don't forget the One Deck Dungeon digital sale from Handelabra. Well, $1 if you want to get ODD, One Deck, Dun Dun Wind Deck Dungeon Digital uh, the $1 mobile sale. Go check it out. Get it right now. Awesome games from both these companies, Greater Than Games and Handelabra. So let's do this drawing right now. It's your last chance to get in on the giveaway. And we'll be doing more giveaways of this in the future as well. There's a hint for those that didn't get in live today. We'll maybe do some long-running ones for YouTubes. And that's yeah, a max of 100 tickets as well. So let's do this drawing, guys. Let's see. Uh, let, I'm going to close it up in five. I'm going to close it up in five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. I've closed up the giveaway. Giveaway has been closed. No longer. No more entries. Please hold it up. Let's do the... We'll draw the winner here. Drum roll, please. Winner is... Boop. Mr. Draco. Mr. Draco, take the win with 58% chance to win. He went... I didn't say he went all in. He went in hard. He went in hard. He had a good chance to win. Sub got that done. Congratulations, Mr. Draco. You've just won a Steam copy of... Um, of digital spirit island hit us up on discord mr draco or something like that um congrats and thank you everyone who entered like i said guys we've got more chances to uh do these giveaways we thank um handle for providing us a bunch of keys we will be playing this more and we will be giving away more copies of this game please check it out uh it's available on steam now or check it out physically for greater than games rock and roll it's late it's 11 30 eastern time i appreciate all your help my brain is fried i am tired <laughs> this game wears you out but i'm so excited now i want to go like dig into it Arrgh. yeah so rock and roll peace good gaming everyone best camp on twitch appreciate it. also i'll see you on wednesday for the day stream um come hang out at 1 p.m eastern time 1 30 probably more so because i gotta fit it into the life schedule with the kiddos and uh teaching and all that kind of stuff everyone stay safe everyone fighting the storm in the south and uh you know be safe out there. Wash your hands. Uh, do what you can to keep your health up and good. Keep your family safe. Rock and roll. Peace, good gaming, everyone. We'll see you on Wednesday, all right? Well, we'll find out what we're playing Wednesday on Wednesday. Uh, stay tuned to the Discord. Discord.gsfcrickfam. Peace. Have a good time. See you on Wednesday. Bye. Oh, shoot. Um, where's the credits? Subscribe. So um, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 we got a sub. Oh, hey, H. Denton with the sub. H. Denton with sub. Before we, before we do that, we gotta, uh, we gotta spin the wheel for that. We gotta spin the wheel for that. We're throwing up subs. We're throwing up subs. Now I don't have my wheel ready. <laughs> you guys are missing. I'm trying to get out of here with a clean ending. Oh, man. Hold on. 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 Where's my wheel? I, I, I wasn't ready for that sub right at the end there, but Denton... Throwing up the, the sub there. We're going to spin the wheel for you. We're going to spin the wheel for you. We're not doing that without the wheel spin here. Here we go. Before we run the credits. Because I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Thank you for the prime sub, guys. We really appreciate all, all, the, all the awesome stuff there. And it's 20 push-ups for Lyle, so we didn't want to miss that. <laughs> That's 30 added today, courtesy of Denton. All right, now we're getting out of here. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. See you. See you. See you later. See you later.